Hello, this is Todd Vieira, Director of Customer Engagement at Brainship. You just saw the functionality of our ADK1000 SOC, currently in production at TSMC 28 nanometer. Today, we here at Brainship are going to show you our event-based MPU, specifically our 3D point cloud solutions. Our first demonstration you're going to see is a 3D point gesture classification. We have eight gestures on 10 subjects who performed all eight gestures with a 15 second duration sample. And we tested and trained on an eight layer CNN with four weights and activations. As you can see, our results are 90% accuracy. We use nine MPUs with 453 kilobytes of SRAM and only 1.25 milliwatts of dynamic power. One of the nice things about the scalability of Brainship Sakita is if I want to run it in ultra low power for edge devices sitting next to the sensor and power is a major concern, as we said before, you can get 1.25 milliwatts of power. But if I need to scale up and run it at a clock frequency of 300 megahertz to get 400 frames per second, you can see it'll scale up and my dynamic power goes up to 50 milliwatts. Still very low for an edge device. And this is all dependent on the foundry and process you pick. So if you want to go down to seven nanometer, it scales down. If you want to use it uh, in higher technologies, you can do that as well. So right now we're going to run through the classification of several of the gestures that we are using in this specific demo. So as you can see, the neural network is actually picking up the finger one and recording it with the um, feedback on the right hand side. And there we have three fingers categorizing it. So as I said before, we use eight gestures. For the purpose of this demo, we're only going to go through a few of them based on time. But if you'd like to get more information on our gesture classification, feel free to contact us after this. And what would it be without a demo of how, without having a hang loose to end the demonstration? So with that, we will go on to 3D point cloud on person detection. Now we're using person detection with a point net plus plus and a 3D point sensor. Our starting point version of point net was modified to adhere to the Akita format. We created a custom 3D point cloud data set for person detection. It was recorded with a 3D point cloud sensor and standard USB camera. And then individual data samples were either annotated as person or no person. And we trained using a traditional TensorFlow Keras platform. The results are we use six MPUs, 294 kilobytes of memory. We had 51% activation sparsity and 10 frames per second and 100 milliseconds of latency. So as I start the demonstration, you can see on the upper right hand side is a camera image with the same image being shot in the center of the screen in the point cloud. And you can see in the little green box, it has person being detected. As they walk off frame out of the screen, it goes off. As the person walks by, it recognizes the person. And as they walked off screen again, off. And now that person sits down and goes away. We have another demonstration that is similar. Um, we are actually doing this by moving the camera around. So this might be done for another type of application where I have a moving camera and I'm looking for people to detect in a different environment. The other demonstration was more of maybe I have an always on equipment or display and it's in a static environment and I'm still recognizing the people. But as you see, as we move through, through the demonstration, as the camera goes off the subject, uh, it notices the person is not there and has off. As a person walks across the screen, um, the person gets detected. You can see them sitting down both in the 3D point cloud as well as the, uh, the chair there up in the upper right-hand side. These are three very different demonstrations for our 3D point cloud solutions. I'd like to go over our Akita MPU and three-point 
3D point cloud applications. Some of the benefits for low power applications, we take advantage of inherent sparsity in the 3D point cloud camera system. Available for low power for an SOC or IP for chip integration. With on-chip memory and four-bit weights and activations, this helps reduce latency and the memory size. And an all-encompassed MPU solution helps offload your tasks from your host CPU. Edge devices that sit next to the sensor have very stringent requirements. And we here at BrainChip have really architected for these low-power edge devices. This is just one of many applications supported by BrainChip's Akita MPU. Tell us what your next design is all about. Thank you. Learn more at BrainChip at www.brainchip.com, or you can email us at sales at brainchip.com, or you can stick around for the Q&A after this session. Thank you.